Hello and welcome to the Kingpin Crime YouTube channel. Today's video features a man known across Manchester, involved in organised crime in England. He was a leading figure in the Noonan crime family, Desmond Noonan. Along with his brother, Dominic, he was suspected to be involved in at least 25 murders. He was involved in the supply of guns, bank robberies, as well as heavily being involved in the nightclub industry in Manchester. Desmond Noonan, sometimes referred to as Desi, was born on the 8th of August 1959. Born in Wally Range, Manchester, into an Irish family, Noonan emerged from poverty and into the criminal scene with his brothers Damien and Dominic. His criminal career began as a doorman in the early 1980s. His reputation as a fighter and his overall appearance gave him credibility on the club doors of Manchester. Noonan then started to put his own men on the doors. By the late 1980s, 80% of Manchester's nightlife security was alleged to be controlled by the Noonan family. Around the same time, Dominic Noonan was jailed for 15 years for his part in an armed robbery at a bank in Cheatham Hill. During his imprisonment, still in control of the crime family, Damien and Desmond Noonan were forging links with other notable Manchester gangs, including the Cheatham Hill and Salford gangs. The Noonan family attempted to stay away from the Moss Side gangs, although Desmond Noonan was part of a group who provided the gangs with guns and other weapons. After involving himself in Manchester's nightlife, Noonan started to become involved within other criminal and political circles outside of Manchester. He went on to forge links with gangs in London, Newcastle and Liverpool. Suspected to have also been associated with many powerful criminal figures based in Leamington, Coventry and Birmingham. The organisation was based on the movement of guns and drugs between the West Midlands and the North West. Although the relationship was profitable, it soon turned sour, leading to a gang war that saw a number of murders take place in Manchester and Birmingham. This feud resulted in the slaying of Ashley Foley and Josh King, both shot in the face. Desmond Noonan was held by the West Midlands Police, but the case was dropped due to lack of evidence. Control of organised crime in the city fell to Desmond Noonan and his brothers following the 1991 gangland murder of a rival lead of the Cheatham Hill Gang, Anthony White Tony Johnson. Noonan was charged with Johnson's murder but later acquitted. Over the next several years, he faced a number of convictions in connection to witness intimidation and jury tampering, resulting in the key witnesses refusing to testify against him and other members of the Noonan family. By the mid-1990s, Desmond Noonan was known as an enforcer, a very dangerous and violent man who had links with a wide range of Britain's underworld. In 1995, Noonan was convicted of violently attacking twin brothers, during which he was reportedly described by the court as psychotic and was sentenced to 33 months imprisonment. By the end of the 1990s, the Noonan family had been linked to 25 gangland murders and dozens of robberies and had a stranglehold on most of the nightclubs in many of England's major cities. They reportedly also made over £8 million from bank robberies and security alone. He and his brothers Damien and Dominic Noonan started to acquire business interests in nightclubs in Liverpool, London and Newcastle. Desmond Noonan tried to do deals in the other cities with their gangland figures and was soon becoming involved with a number of crime bosses such as Liverpool drugs baron Curtis Warren and the head of Newcastle's biggest crime family, Paddy Conroy. The length and power of the family, in particular Desmond Noonan, allowed him to be the prime peacemaker in the Manchester's gang truces, which for a short period of time brought the war in Moss Side to an end. Other gangland figures participating in the truce were Paul Massey, Paul Flannery, and apparently Jimmy Donnelly, who was a prominent figure in the Quality Street gang in Manchester. Noonan was released from prison in 2002 and became head of the Noonan crime family after Damien's death in 2003, when he died in a motorbike accident while on holiday in the Dominican Republic. Desmond Noonan was a lifelong Irish Republican and anti-fascist. He was active with the Anti-National Front Squad of the early 1980s and then with the Anti-Fascist Action Group, which was formed in 1985. In 1993, Noonan was present at a meeting in the Seymour pub in Wally Range between AFA and an individual who had recently set up a South Manchester-based British National Party branch. Noonan told the individual, 
there's one thing that not many people know about me, and that's the fact that I'm an anti-fascist to the core. Now tell these lads what they want to know, because I don't want to come back here and see you again. He was involved with the AFA right through to the 1990s, and his last known anti-fascist work was canvassing the BMP when they stood in Newton Heath in 2002. Desmond Noonan was last seen on the night of the 18th of March 2005, while drinking in the Park Public House in Withenshaw at around 11.30pm. Early on Saturday morning, Sandra Noonan received a phone call from her husband, telling her that he'd been stabbed. He then asked her to pick him up in the suburb of Chorlton. By the time she arrived, however, Noonan was lying unconscious in Merseybank Avenue. She then called for an ambulance, but Noonan died of his wounds before arriving at the Manchester Royal Infirmary. His funeral was held in South Manchester on the 22nd of April 2005. It was reportedly attended by hundreds of local residents and his coffin arrived by a horse-drawn hearse to the church. Eric McDuffus, a drug dealer from South Manchester, was charged on the 15th of June after appearing at Preston Crown Court and was eventually convicted of Noonan's murder, for which he received a life sentence. He was subsequently placed in solitary confinement to protect him from retribution by the Noonan family. Desmond Noonan, who was suspected to have developed a drug addiction towards the end of his life, was thought by authorities to have been coercing local drug dealers into supplying him with narcotics and had left the pub intoxicated in search of a drug dealer. It is believed McDuffus stabbed Noonan and threw him out of his residence, after which he bled to death in the street. Noonan died four days before the broadcast of journalist Donald McIntyre's Fly on the Wall documentary McIntyre's Underworld, featuring the Noonans. This concludes the story of Desmond Noonan and his 20 year reign in Manchester's criminal underworld. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.